Hi everybody, this is Suthi Readings. How are you guys doing? Let's see what messages are going to show up for you, Leo. Leo, in case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. And in the extended, I clarify more for the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves? Outcome of Ice Love Notes, Guidance from Spirit and Your Future Love. So do check it out. It will be linked below for you. Now let's see what do we have for Leo. What's that screeching sound? <laughs> All right. Um, no, it's not somebody screaming. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see. Messages for Leo. Abundance. Ooh, first card out is the card of abundance. So this is money. Uh, this is good stuff. This is like the 3D coin kind of an energy, okay? This is a great time to work on your goals money-wise, okay? And this card also gives a message of not giving up. Do not let do not let your past hold you back. So this is a time, Leo, where you need to let go of your old, outdated beliefs, limiting beliefs surrounding money, surrounding anything in general. And this is a time to break free. Um, you know, learning the lesson and breaking free. This is what that is. We also have rejection. Okay, some of you do feel rejected by somebody or you feel like there was a certain thing in your life that you wanted, but it didn't happen as you planned. And it made you feel rejected or it gave, it gave you that sense of rejection. But that rejection or that energy is a call to look at something from a different perspective. And don't let this energy hold you back, okay? So there was some experience in the past that maybe did not go as you hoped okay um but again spirit is telling you to not let it guide you in the wrong direction okay so give me one more for leo give me one more for leo Uh, what is this? Step out of your comfort zone. Okay, so you have um, North Node and South Node energy. That is that is Rahu and Keru, okay? So, all right, so the North Node talks about our life's purpose. It talks about our destiny. No, North Node stretches us, okay? It's almost like... Um, uh, reaching your fullest potential and south node is the energy of the past okay this is our familiar and north node is not so familiar but this is a part of our destiny bottom of the deck is soulmate so i do feel like there is a person that you're attracting possibly a soulmate leo okay um but i'm also getting here that the message for you from this reading Again, is to not let your past experiences stop you from something. Okay? Let's see what more do we have for Leo. What more do we have for Leo? I am going to close off this reading as well with more oracle messages. So yes, you can have a look if you're interested. Now let's see, what do we have for Leo? Oops. All right. I'm trying to shuffle as like quietly as I can. <laughs> Just so it's not like, ooh, loud in the mic, okay? High priestess energy. This is intuition. This is Piscean energy. Very much being guided through your intuition. Pay attention to the dreams, um, the signs that you see, okay? There could be a sign as well. I'm really getting here, Leo, that there is something here about... 
Hmm. There's something here about, you know, following your heart, okay? And see where it takes you, kind of an energy. Queen of Wands, getting your confidence back, taking a stern action towards something. I feel like there's a certain experience here that had that. Okay, so when this happened, this rejection, or I don't know what it was, definitely an experience that led you down. I feel like it also kind of like made you question your potential. It made you doubt yourself and you lost self-confidence in that experience. Okay. Palace of Swords. Thinking more logically. This is a place of thinking more logically. These are our ideas, our beliefs, uh, something that stems from, again, our ideas, what we are thinking. Some of you may also be getting very creative ideas or, you know, the new. This is it's, it's almost like an energy of the new. Okay. All right. So we have the two of wands. New doors are opening. Two of wands here is it's it's almost like making a choice. You see there are two doorways here. So this is representing choices to be made. What are you going to choose? Okay? These are choices. What are these choices about for Leo? What are these choices about for Leo? Eight of Cups, walking away, ending karmic cycles where you've learned your lessons. Again, Saturn energy is there. Uh, five of Coins. This is definitely, okay, so the choices here that you need to make are, it's like out with the old and with the new. Legit, okay, because there are two cards here that are talking about endings and new beginnings. Even the world card is endings and new beginnings. So there's something here that is ending. And a lot of you need to make that conscious decision to let it come to an end, uh, Leo. And I'm also really getting here that um, there's something about being very like thoughtful, okay, about something, being aware, okay. And not being afraid of the unknown. Four of Swords, healing is taking place. So right now you're going through a time period where if you're feeling drained, if you're feeling exhausted, you do need a break. You do need to take some time off. And secondly, what I'm really getting for you, Leo, is that um, take some rest if it is required to regain perspective and to come out of something very balanced. Uh, healing is required right now. Healing from toxic patterns, toxic cycles. Saturn is all about lessons, discipline. Um, it, it makes things hard for us, but it also pushes us towards something, okay? Give me a future card for um, Leo. We have the moon that came in the reverse. So something could be revealed to you. I barely actually see the north and the south node together in a reading. So if you're getting that, it's a huge sign, okay? This is you, Mars, and Leo. You know what, Leo? The message here is to get back in touch with yourself. And Mars and Leo is a very action-oriented energy. This is like, what is mine is mine. I'm going to pursue something with confidence. And this is, again, taking action for yourself and where you feel like you, you need to with the high priestess there as well, okay? So first of all, I'm getting that there's something being revealed and there's also um, an energy here of um, destiny. What is a part of your destiny will come to you, okay? What is the advice for Leo from this reading? Also, you may be feeling very um, psychic or very like spiritually woke at this time. So I would suggest you pay attention to your intuition. You pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. 
What is the advice for Leo? Advice. Focusing on money, focusing on your goals, um, not being too wasteful of your resources, whether that be money, energy, love, anything, okay? Capricorn energy. Because that Mars in Leo energy can be about action, sometimes without even thinking, okay? But that Capricorn energy is balancing it out. Oops. Whoever you're dealing with, their energy is the eight of wands. Somebody's coming in with communication. There could be a text or a call from somebody. It could be a Sagittarius. I'm really getting here that there's like there's like some somebody here wants to make something right with you, or it's like uh clearing things up with you, kind of a wife, a wife, wife. Why did I say wife? Uh somebody could be wanting to clear things up with their wife. Let's see. The sun card. Ooh, I like it, Leo. So you're showing up in your own energy here towards the future. Give me one more card for the overall outcome. Ace of Swords. Yes, this is all about the new. New ideas. New beginnings with the sun card. This is something positive. Again, a lot of you are looking for that light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of you are in this energy where... I said it at the beginning as well, that there's something here about new ideas, new ways of doing things. It's it's really about outgrowing something, Leo. You're outgrowing something and you're welcoming the new. This is like, this is again, if you look at this card, there's a lot of like that spiritual energy to it, okay? And again, your reading here also has to do with um, being led through your intuition, Give me one more card. What is the overall energy like for Leo? What is the overall energy for Leo? What is the overall energy for Leo? Feeling heartbroken, learning lessons, and then Empress 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting here that this is about outgrowing certain painful experiences. Empress talks about knowing your worth. Empress is a very abundant energy. Three of Swords is um, Saturn and Libra. Now, what I'm really getting here is that this is a time for you to learn a lesson from the hardships, the pain. Um, Empress really talks about, you know, Empress is a very, um, it, it's a very like logical, practical energy. Okay. very abundant as well this is also talking about a shift perhaps a shift in your mindset let's see what are the messages in love now i will continue this reading in your extended and see what is up with your person what are their thoughts of you their feelings what do they want to say to you there are things going between you two, Leo. Uh, what is the future like? What are the general messages from spirit that you need to know? So all of that information is going to be linked in the description box and in that reading, okay? You have past life relationship. Again, there's something here about a karmic connection coming to an end. Um, deception. Somebody deceived you, lied to you, but that experience was very eye-opening. Then you have flirt. So I do feel like spirit is telling you to not close off to love again and again because yes, there was something hurtful, but then you have calling in your soulmate. And really tell me, you're you're getting the soulmate card, oopsie, you're getting the soulmate card twice in this reading, Leo. Okay, so you are welcoming some somebody new or there's some form of a change in your love life given that you do not close off to love, okay? Now let's close off this reading with an oracle message. Show me what's there for Leo. The 
the sun card you're getting so many sun cards here this is you i feel like this reading is really a sign okay it's like a sign from the universe and there's something here that it's it's like being spirit, spiritually guided so i'm getting here that these messages are coming straight from your spirit guides okay All right, um, you have the sun card. What a beautiful card. And this is the first card in the deck as well. So I'm going to read for you what this is saying. New beginnings and great creativity. The sun brings blessings to the earth and this card pretends blessings in your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life in the spring and summer, this is your time for a new beginning, the onset of a nurturing new light in your life, the light of the divine inspiration and personal growth. This card often marks a time of great creativity, bringing the culmination of an important new project, such as the birth of a baby or a writing or publication of a book, or even the birth of a new you. Now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of the divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know that the sun is shining on your intentions now. Affirmation, I open my heart and life to the creative inspiration of the divine love. I choose to create happiness in every new day. Okay, so that is your affirmation. I want you to affirm it, put it in the comment section or write it somewhere. Um, give this video a like and check out the extended link below for further details if you're interested, Leo. Take care and bye-bye.